Howdy folks, thanks for tuning in. Hope y'all doing okay today. If you like any of the, the takes or thoughts or things I'm talking about in any of these videos, give me a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to know when uh, new stuff goes up. So, all that said, there's something I want to talk about, kind of a situation that came up in the last 12 hours. I'm not trying to call anybody out, so I'm going to have to be vague in describing some of the circumstances, because I don't want to call anybody out or embarrass them if this, you know, gets out. So, we'll just say somebody that I know uh, was having some marital problems. Now, I've heard one person's side of the story. It takes two to tango. One person can create 90% of the problems. There are some people that don't want to fix situations. I get all of that. I'm only telling you what I know for a fact. So, anyway, they were having marital problems. Met a person at work that was, as a co-worker, they were treating them better than their husband and made them feel better than their husband did. Not pronouncing judgment on that, just saying what it is. Well, anyway, this person that I know decided that they were going to go ahead and split from their husband and move in with the co-worker that they get along with so well. And due to just finding things out, found out the old fret that there's a lot of truth in the old phrase that the grass ain't always greener. Um, this person's husband may have had a drinking problem. I don't know. Enjoyed drinking heavily, we'll just say that, but I don't know if it was something where he could, you know, limit it to weekends or special occasions or whatever, if it was a more routine thing. But definitely did a lot of drinking. Um, the new boyfriend is an alcoholic that won't admit that they even drink, like they're hiding alcohol around the house. So. Lots of problems, lots of red flags there. Well, find out last night that this person that I know, she needs to get out. And found some place that they could stay last night. And this person, the boyfriend has to work quite a bit today, so actually heading over to help move possessions and furniture out into a truck or a U-Haul. I don't really know what's going on just yet. I just know this is where I'm going, this is what I'm doing, and that's about it. So, um, and I could tell you another story about that. So this one I don't mind calling out because I don't mind embarrassing this person because I'm pretty low in my book. Uh, my ex-brother-in-law from my sister, uh, he has found out that the grass ain't always greener too. He was married to my sister for what, four or five years, maybe, no, six years, I think, I can't keep it straight, but anyway, married to my sister, and they were having problems, he, definitely a uh, emotionally abusive husband, 
but he came home from work one day and said, hey, I found another woman. I'm emptying out the bank account. I'm taking my car and all this list of stuff with me. I don't want to see you or the kids anymore. Good luck. So, all of a sudden, my sister, who was a stay-at-home mom, found herself in the shoes of a single mother, which is not fun, but we'll just say I know a couple people, and I know a few things. I don't want to disclose those things in case my ex-brother-in-law keeps tabs on this, but I know that... uh, life for him has not been as great as it could be. He um, has become a raging alcoholic. It cost him a good paying job. I know that the work he was doing was pretty difficult work. Um, the job that he had, the majority of the time him and my sister were together, was pretty tough manual labor. Um, but it paid good. So, you know, he was doing fairly well financially as far as single income family and how much money he was bringing. He was doing okay. Well, due to becoming a raging alcoholic, he couldn't keep up with his jobs attendance policy and um, his former company found themselves no longer requiring his services so he got fired and you know he may have had some other substance issues I don't know I don't need to know all the details I already don't like the guy enough because anybody that can just up and leave his wife and kids and say I don't care if I see any of y'all again, essentially, and his actions have definitely said that. He hadn't given him no money um, for child support or anything. You know, that kind of says it all. So, the grass ain't always greener, folks. And I do think that, I don't know if I want to say that sometimes those uh, chickens come home to roost, but when you are choosing a partner, especially if you're choosing one over another or one over a current one, I think that out of all the things that I've seen, it's very easy to look at people through rose-colored glasses. You know, okay, there is... I don't think there's anything more intoxicating emotionally than falling for someone, than learning all their stories, than learning what made them who they are, the the triumphs, the tragedies, and so on. I don't think there's anything more emotionally intoxicating than that. That said, after you're with someone for a while, especially married to someone for a while, you will begin to see all their faults. And you will... The version of them that you see a year after marriage versus the version of them that you saw before you and them ever moved in together is drastically different, period. I'm not saying that they lied. I'm not saying that they tricked you. I'm just saying it's different. And when you meet someone new, it's very easy to get on that emotional drug high of I'm learning all about someone new, and this is fascinating, and it's sexy, and it's fun. You know, there's very few things that I don't know about my wife. There's very few things that she does not know about me. There are numerous women that just something totally innocent, you know, um, uh, take a, a Sunday school group class, we decide, you know, hey, we're gonna 
we're going to partner up and we're going to go out to a coffee shop and suppose me and a, this, you know, another woman are the only one that shows. Well, we can start talking stories, life experiences, and it's fascinating to hear that from people. It really is, in my opinion. And, you know, you share the right stories and it might even be a little sexy. But I haven't lived with that person for, you know, call it nine years. And, you know, I know who I am. I know my faults. I know who my wife is. I know her faults. And I know that we can tolerate each other's idiosyncrasies. I don't know if I could do that. And I don't know if it'd be worth the the emotional damage that it would do to my wife and I to find that out. So, I do everything I can to make sure that my wife and I work out. Folks, that's what I got for today. Wish it were something happier, but that's what I got. Thanks for tuning in.